video I'm going to demonstrate how you can edit multiple camera shots at the same time inside of Adobe Premiere using a technique called multi-camera editing. The first thing you need to do is download the sample footage from Google Classroom. Here you can see I have the footage here. It is three different angles of making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Once you have downloaded the video files, you're going to make a new folder on your desktop. I right click and I choose new folder. Now I want to create a folder that's going to help me know what this is called. So I'm going to call this your name multi camera. I'm going to then select my video files and I can either select them one at a time and drag them in or I can select the first one press shift and select the last one and I can drag them in. So I'm going to copy these files from my downloads folder into the folder that I create on my desktop. Now with those in my folder I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere I press command space bar I type in Premiere P-R-E M it pops up I'm gonna go ahead and open this up when Premiere Pro opens, you're going to create a new project. We're going to call the project Your Name PBJ because we're going to create a video about peanut butter and jelly. We want to change our location so that it is saving inside of the folder that we have created. I'm going to click on the Browse button. I then choose my desktop either by pressing Command D on the keyboard or clicking on Desktop. I navigate to my folder, I click choose, and now this is going to save this file in that folder. We're going to leave everything else how it is set up for default and click OK. There are many different views or layouts for how you can edit inside of Adobe Premiere. For this video, we're going to choose the editing tab to edit and, and do all of our work here. First thing we need to do now is import our media. We can come down to the bottom right where there's this text that says import media to start. Double click on this. It's going to bring up the folder that we saved this file to and we can see we have already dragged our files here. I can select all of these by clicking and dragging. If I want to select them and they're not in order, I could press the command key and I can select on different ones not together but in this case, I'm going to select these three video clips. I click Import. And once the clips are imported, I can see them inside this bin. It's showing me this view. I can see. Now, with these clips selected, if I click off, notice how they're no longer selected. I can click and drag, and it selects these clips. All I have to do is right click, go to Create Multi Camera Source Sequence. You can also access that by going up to Clip and then Create Multi-Camera multi -source, multi Source Sequence. It brings up this dialog box. It gives us a couple of options. We can give the video clip name plus something else. Maybe I'll just put PBJ here. Now we can choose how we're going to synchronize or get all of these videos timed up just right so they play at the same time. We can do it by the end point or where the video starts or the out point. We can also choose a time code or audio. In this case, we're going to choose audio and we're going to use track channel 1 as default. So I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. And now you will see there's a new bin that's called Processed Clips. If I double click and open up this bin, you'll see the three video clips that we had. But if I click back on my project, we'll see that we have this other video clip, which is just one. Now this icon, this blue icon in the bottom right hand corner, demonstrates that this is a multi-camera source sequence. What we want to do is we want to create a file from this. But first of all, if I double click on this, it's going to bring up and show me that there are multiple camera angles in here. This is what I'm looking for. If I were to drag this over onto the sequence, it's going to create a new sequence but all I see is one camera angle. So let me undo that. Command Z. Command Z. So I undid that. 
Now, I could drag this clip over like I just did to create a new sequence, or I could right click on it and go down to where it says new sequence from clip. It does pretty much the same thing. But now what we have to do is figure out how to edit all of these different video clips that we have uh, in here. To do that, we're going to right click on this clip. We're going to go down to where it says multi-camera and we want to make sure that enable is checked. If enabled is not checked, it will not work. So make sure that you right click, go down to where it says multi-camera and make sure that enable is checked. With that checked, we can now begin our editing. We're going to turn on or toggle the multi view, uh, the multi camera view by clicking on this icon here. And notice now how we can see our different camera angles as well as we can see our output or our composite of what these shots are going to look like. If you do not see this icon that says toggle multi camera view, click on the plus sign, find it inside here, and drag it down. Mine's already there, so I don't need to drag that on there. To drag it on, I'm just going to show you another one. You can just drag down and you drop it in this area here and it will put it in there. So now we have our clip ready to go through and watch. I'm going to move my playhead back and you can see the cameras start at different times because they're not there the whole time. Inside each recording, I clap. That way I can match up the audio of the sound of the hands clapping as well as see the visual of the hands coming together. Now I did actually clap a couple of times, so I'm going to move past where the clapping goes, and I'm going to move my playhead to where it starts, which is about right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play through the clip and choose either the first shot, the second shot, or the third shot. I can, e I can do that by clicking with the mouse on each of the shots while it plays, or by pressing 1, 2, or 3 on the keyboard. So let me go ahead and hit play. How to make peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Today I want to show you the steps. On so yes, I'm messing up a couple of times there, but you can see I switched the camera angles by clicking on different angles Five, or four, on three, the keyboard. Two, I can also change it by pressing 1, 2, 3, and I can switch back and forth again by pressing 1, 2, or 3. We don't see anything happening down here on the timeline in our sequence. But if I stop playing this, notice now you can see how there's a split or a cut every time I switch the different camera angles. I can move my playhead back, I can watch it again, and you can see every time there's a line, it switches camera angles. Now I have it on mute, just so we don't hear it right now. If you want to change the camera angle that you have already edited, simply click on that clip, right click. Now notice how it changes color there, so I can tell it's selected. And then I go down to multi-camera and I can choose a different camera angle. So I can do that anywhere that there's a clip inside here. I can simply right click, go down to where it says multi-camera, and I can choose a different camera angle. After you have gone through and made all your edits, watch through, make sure that it is good. If there are parts that you need to omit, for example, the beginning where I clap a couple of times, you can use the razor tool to come and you can split the audio to match that video split. You can use the selection tool and then you can select these clips and press the delete key. Now if you'd like to move everything else over, you click on the track select forward tool and you click and you can drag everything back. I'm going to keep it on the same track there. Once your video is finished, you're going to render it out and upload it where you downloaded the video files on Google Classroom. To do that, you're going to go up to File, 
export media. We're going to choose the H.264 format. There's a lot of formats there. Just make sure you choose H.264. We're going to leave the preset at match source, high bitrate, and then down here where it says output name. This is the file name that we're going to change and we're going to change the location. So where this blue link is, you're going to click on it and then you're going to go ahead, navigate to your name multi-camera folder if it doesn't take you there automatically and then you're going to give this a name, your name PBJ. You're going to click save, then you need to press export. This is going to render or put the video together. It may take some time on your computer for this to work. Uh, make sure that it has finished rendering before you upload it. So after this finishes rendering, you're going to find the file, you're going to play through and watch it, and then you'll upload it where you found the original files. It looks like it's done rendering. I go to my folder, and I can find there's a couple of files here the one that I want to upload is the one that has an MP4. I can also click on it and press the space bar and this will play the video so I can make sure that it's the correct one. Make sure that you upload this. If you have questions, please talk to your peers first and then talk to your instructor for any help. Please finish this video and then upload it to Google Classroom. Have a wonderful day.